Hello there. This is lecture number two on switch mode power supply design and applications. Our lecture today involves using transformers along with inductors, caps, and diodes. As we see in here, in this configuration, we see a forward converter switching regulator where a transformer is used, okay, and that transformer is operated by a single transistor. Now when that transistor is on, the polarities as shown in red and please look at the dots in here. You have a little dot in here, a little dot in here and there. Okay, that's a designation for the polarities. So when this transistor is on, you have a positive in here and a negative in here. And therefore the same thing would be a positive in here and a negative in here, depending on the dots and how the transformer winding is done. And this is done specifically because it's going to be operated by a single transistor. Okay. And finally, what you have in here is the secondary that you see in here. It's also plus and minus. That winding in between, between the primary and the secondary, is just to demagnetize the transformer. Because if current passes, in a single direction, in a transformer, it's going to saturate. So therefore, you have to evacuate that magnetizing energy inside that transformer by involving a third winding in there, okay, to evacuate whatever magnetic energy is stored inside that transformer. And we'll see how this is done. Okay, like we said before, Look at the red polarities, which indicate that that transistor is on. And when that transistor is on, current flowing from the input voltage through the primary winding through the transistor to the negative pole. And you have your, like we said, you have your polarities in here for the magnetizing winding as negative and positive which means that diode is reverse biased and no current is flowing through the winding and through that, that diode in there. While at the secondary, you got your positive in here and negative in here. And this is similar exactly to what we have in lecture one, where you have that forward configuration, okay, or a step down. Like I said, we're gonna call it forward for now. And why it's forward? Because as we've seen before, that inductor, okay, will continue supplying the load and the cab during the charging of the current through the inductor and during the discharging of the current from the inductor. Charging and discharging the energies of the inductor in both, both directions. Let's see now why the transistor is on and the polarity is in red as we see in here. You got this diode to be forward biased in a case like this and this will be reverse biased. And that means that we've seen before you start charging your, your inductor. And the voltage across the inductor in a case like this is nothing but the voltage, whatever it comes out of that secondary, okay minus whatever voltage in the output, divided by, by L, and that gives you the kind of slope you are going to get, the current slope, okay? Exactly like we've seen in our lecture one. And during that time, you'll be charging your cab and will be supplying some current to the load too, okay? Now let's consider when that transistor goes off and when that happens, okay, you're gonna have a swing of voltage in here, 
equals to two times V in, okay, because the collapsed magnetic field inside that primary winding will do just that. And we have the polarities as we seen in here in green. You got this one to be negative, this one to be a positive, okay. And what happens in the magnetizing winding? You got your 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 polarities to be positive and negative, which means this point is going to go below the negative pole, which means this diode will start conducting, it will be forward biased, and will start evacuating whatever magnetized energy inside that transformer so it wouldn't saturate. And what happened in here too? You got your negative in here and a positive in here. And always know the little dots in here tell you exactly what's, what's happening. So okay, when you have your negative in here and your positive in here, that means this diode will be reverse biased. And you consider that the whole circuit in here doesn't exist anymore during the freewheeling of the current of that, that inductor. And as we said before, that inductor will do whatever it can do just to make the current continue in the same direction. So the, the current will continue if the electronic current, of course, will go this way and that way, all the way through the inductor, okay, that during the charging or the discharging, but this time during the discharging, it will go free wheel through this diode. Okay, so this is how the electron current is going to make it it's circulating the circuit. This is the way. And for an exact of the exact exact uh, what good definition of, of, of the shapes and uh, the relationship between the cap and between the current of the inductor, please just go to, to lecture number one. It tells exactly how that happens. Okay, let's move forward. Okay, the stuff in here is getting more interesting. This is the push-pull. This is the standard of the industry, I believe. Okay, the idea of push-pull always relaxes the transformer. And let's stress on the transistors. I believe it's about the best configuration you can have. And in this case, that the, 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 the operation of this circuit will go as on red, Q1 is on while Q2 is off, okay? After that, both of the transistors will go off. And finally, Q1 will go off while Q2 is going on, okay? It's not the order of how this is written. It will be on, off, both off, then this is on and this is off, and both off. This is this is the sequence of operation for the circuit, and we're gonna see this clearly in the configuration that we have in here. Okay, so how does the circuit work? It works as follows. We have our V in here, and the ground between the emitters, okay. And we have our V in here in the center tab of that transformer. It's split in half, the primary is two halves. And the secondary also, it's two halves, okay. And when this transistor is on, that means the current will be going through the emitter of that transistor to the winding in here. Look at the polarities in here. What you have in here is, is, is the minus. Okay, because this transistor is on. And the current passes through this half of the primary and goes all the way to the positive. If you feel comfortable dealing with it as a conventional current, that would be fine too. Okay, you got your positive pole in here in the center. And this is your negative in here. And the current passes all the way, conventional current through Q1. Okay. At that time, the polarities will be as follows. You get this minus in here, and you got your positive in here. And the duplicate of the other half, you're going to have to add it up, because once you energize 
one half you energize the second half so therefore you're going to have in here two times v in whatever v in in here you're going to have at this part two times v in and that transistor will be off of course like we said before okay so that energy supplied to this winding will go to the to the secondary to the secondary the voltage in here will be transferred according to the winding ratio to this to the secondary in here and we're going to have look at the little dots we're going to have the same thing in here a negative in here and a positive in here okay and what does that mean that means this half will be in operation while this half will be of y because you get your positive signal in here going all the way up through the load through the cap charging the cap charging your inductor okay minus and about to charging your inductor and go all the way through the diode to the negative to the negative terminal of this half of the primary while this one will be off okay while it's off because you got your negative sign in here and you got your positive sign in here sorry let me let me look at it again let me see what is happening no 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 i made a mistake i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry d1 will be in operation first not d2 i made a mistake okay so we get your electronic current going this way electronic current going this way let's say at the positive first okay or let's let's take the electronic current first it goes this way all the way up up charging your cap charging your resistor charging your inductor okay and goes all the way through d1 to the other half of the of the primary so this one in here is operational at this duration in here that's 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 half this half works with d1 okay and that half in there okay that the blue one works for for d2 sorry for that mistake and sorry for that confusion okay so like we said before this is our positive sign that dies forward bias our inductor is being charged our cab is being charged and our resistors and we go all the way to the center tab and this half operates with the q1 that one operates with q2 with the blue polarities the blue polarities are the same so after that what happens after that what happens after that that we have a duration where both transistors are off and we have our current freewheeling through both of these diodes let's see how this is done okay now at this point in here we start charging through d1 like we said and we are charging our inductor to this point well, our negative feedback, of course, or our converter will tell the transistor to cease conducting. Okay. And at that moment, at that moment, you have your polarities to be in here, minus and a positive, and another minus and another positive. What happens is that both of these diodes will both will conduct whatever is there across the inductor. Now the collapse of this magnetic field and because this inductor wants the current to continue the same way it was, okay, which is electronically this way, let's say we kiss it, okay, it will do whatever it takes to make that current continue the same direction. And that means the reverse of polarity as we see in green in here. So when this goes negative, while well, that one is goes positive and the direction of the current is not changing, that will go through both of these diodes. Look at the signal here. This is negative, the polarity. And that means both of these diodes will be conducting at the same time, half of the current going through D2 and the other half of the current will be going through D1. And this is the peak of it. And as we see in here, half of it will be going through D1 and the blue one half, the other half will go through D2, okay? So, this point becomes so negative that both of these diodes will be freewheeling the current through the center tab. So the full current will be going through the center tab, half of it from this terminal of the transformer, and then the other half in this part of the transformer. And this is, we see this, this weird configuration at T off. And like we said before, 
we got D1 with Q1, we get D2 with Q2, okay? And we get this in here, in the middle. It's always off, where D1 and D2 conduct at the same time, okay? So this is the order of a switching. On, and after both of them are off, on again for Q2, and both of them are off, and so on and so forth. And this is the way it's done for this configuration. And it's important to follow all the polarities and the signs for the ons and the offs. Okay. So this is, let's say, probably it's the most complicated configuration of them all. And if you want to know the slope of the current, it's like we've done before, it's nothing really different. Whatever voltage that comes out of the primary in here, half, half of the, so half of the secondary, okay. You subtract whatever output voltage out of it, and whatever is left is across that inductor. And that means you're gonna have a slope of current and a buildup of current through the inductor, storing that energy in it. And like we said before, all these areas become very, very, very important when you start designing the circuits and start considering what kind of caps we are going to use. And like you see in here, okay, this area in here is nothing but a charge. All the areas in here are just a charge because you are talking about currents, you are talking about currents, and you are talking about time. And current multiplied by time equals an area, and that area is nothing but Q or it's a charge. And look that IRL in there, it's in the middle, it's like that forward type of configuration or a step down of a configuration, even though we can't call it a step down because we don't know exactly the turns ratio between the primary and the secondary. But the idea that you got your IRL, it will be in between, okay? Between the minimum and between the maximum. Between the minimum and the maximum. This is the maximum of current and this is the minimum of current and your RL will be always in the middle, okay? Let's move forward a little bit. And this is the same as above, but the idea in here is using a half a bridge converter circuit. Okay. Above we use the center tab. And here we are not using a center tab in the middle. We are using two transistors like before, but we split V in. We split V in in halves using these two caps. Okay. You can split any voltage to two halves by using a sizable caps, okay? You can get half of Vn. So using full primary winding, okay? On a half of Vn, like we have in here, with two transistors. So it's the same idea, but using a full full winding for, for the primary, okay? The secondary, nothing has changed on it. Still center tap. And the drawing, by the way, for the waveform is exactly like before. It's like the one up there, the same thing, where the order of operation will be on, off, both off, then this is off and this is on and both off. This is the sequence of operation. And here we have a full bridge. It's not a, exactly like the same, but instead of using two transistors, we use four transistors and we get rid of those two caps and the idea of half of V in, okay? Now we have a full V in, okay, swinging all the way. Swinging all the way, where you have your full V in, in the full winding, full V in and full winding. That means that you're gonna have a lot of, let's say a lot of voltage in it because you are using, you are using the transformer fully and how that operates really. You have your Q1, that's one step you have it's written in here, okay. You have your, during T on for this one, Q1 and Q2 are on, both of them. And after that, like we said, the off, the off, where we have all the Qs are off. That's the following sequence, okay. And after that, T on two, we got our Q3 and Q4 are on, okay. And after that, all of them will be off again. So it's the same thing really. But the idea that you have all your Vn across all of the primary winding, not half of it.
okay, or not half of the voltage. So this is a full bridge converter circuit. Let's see what else we have. Oh yeah. Yeah, that looks nice. Okay, in our next lecture, we're going to start doing our applications. Now we're going to start calculating caps, time frequency, calculating the value of inductors, and designing a whole circuit. And we're going to see how this is done. And we're going to present our model of how to design such a circuit. So this is the scheme we are going to use. Okay, and this is the design procedure for a switching regulator. And we are going to be using the standard UA78S40. And all of the ideas and all of the thoughts that we had before, we're going to see it in real. Okay. I think it's a good time to stop in here. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe. A little encouragement is appreciated. Until next lecture, I wish you all a good time. And thank you for watching. And see you in my third lecture on switch mode power supplies. Thank you all.